If L1 is equal to A raised to N where N is greater than or equal to 0 and L2 is equal to B raised to N where N is greater than or equal to 0, consider the following statements. That is, L1 dot L2 or L1 concatenated with L2 is a regular language. Second one, L1 concatenated with L2 is equal to A raised to N, B raised to N where N is greater than or equal to 0. We need to find the truth in each of these statements. So let us begin. Now, L1 is equal to A raised to N, where N is greater than or equal to 0. Let us find out the strings that are part of this language. Let us take L1. When N is equal to 0, it becomes A raised to 0. That means the string is empty. Do not write 1, because this is not mathematics. N is equal to 1 is nothing but 1A. N is equal to 2 will give me 2As, and so on. As you can see, this is nothing but a closure. Similarly, L2 will also be B, BB, triple B, and so on. That is nothing but B closure. Now, let us find out whether L1 dot L2 is regular or not. Now, L1 and L2 are both regular because we can draw find automata for them that is find automata in this case that is for a closure will look something like this so as you can see l1 l2 are both regular now closure properties for regular language always states that the concatenation of two regular languages will always be regular compulsorily and hence the first point is true now for those who are still confused why it's regular, I'll show you an example and everything will be clear. Now let us find out the set L1 concatenated with L2. So first epsilon will be concatenated with every other element in L2. We get epsilon B, BB, triple B and so on. That's nothing but the closure of B. Secondly we take A and concatenate it with every other element in L2. We get A, AB. A, B, B and so on. And similarly, this process will be applied for each and every element in these, set, these sets. Now, do you think that this set and this language, that is L1.L2, is a regular language? That means, can a fired automata be created for this language? Yes, a fired automata exists for L1 concatenated with L2, which actually is B closure or at least one A followed by any number of Bs. But an A after that will not be tolerated and will go into a dead state where even an A or B will not be considered. Uh, the start state is a final state in order to accept, accept epsilon. So as you can see, a fired automata is possible and hence this language is regular and statement one is true. Now let us look at the second condition that is a raised to n, b raised to n, where n is greater than or equal to 0. So this tells me that equal number of a is followed by equal number of b's. That is, when n is equal to 0, it will be epsilon. When n is equal to 1, it will be ab. n is equal to 2, it will be aabb, triple a, triple b, when n is equal to 3, and so on. Now, let us just compare. Is this l1, l2 equal to this? No, it is not. Yeah, I agree that this language may contain equal number of, will contain equal number of A's followed by equal number of B's because cases like AA followed by BB, but it's not exclusively equal number of A's followed by equal number of B's and hence this is false. So with this we get our answer as A, that is only one, is true. If you like the video, do subscribe and share it among your friends. Thank you.